Good afternoon. Today is the 21st of November and uh, it's time to answer um, in more detail one of the questions that um, a viewer um, asked me um, in um, the comments for one of the videos last week and that's uh, how did I come to start my YouTube channel and uh, you know um, maybe uh, I'll go into a bit of uh, what I'd like to do in the future as well. So I started the channel in September 2018. Um, one of the things that I've been very keen to do from the start is to come across as a distinct personality for the reviews. Now that uh, goes back to um, the sort of late 2000s where um, a website which is now called channelawesome.com um, that used to be called thatguyoftheglasses.com um, used to do film and television reviews in a distinct style. They had a number of reviewers who would submit content to the site. The reason why they weren't on YouTube was because YouTube at the time was very, very bad in terms of uh, blocking content if you were to show um, footage from a film or television series. And so there was a sort of collective of them on there. Sadly, in the intervening years, um, that guy with glasses.com channel awesome um, has had um, very bad press. Um, there's allegations of abuse, all kinds of things going on. And so, you know, that really has basically failed now. Um, but at the time, people had distinct personalities. There was a chap who called that dude in the suede, that guy with the glasses, um, and everybody had a distinct sort of thing that they did. And they would have uh, maybe a sort of a catchphrase and things like that. So you'll notice on Tweed Jacket Reviews, we uh, have a quotation from um, a television series that will soon become a film series um, at the beginning and end of each episode. And also in, in character, um, the uh, the presenter is, is sort of distracted by doing something else. Um, possibly he might be a spy. We don't really know. Um, that's very much a sort of trait of um, what these reviewers were doing maybe 10 years ago. And it, it continues to this day. But that is actually where it sort of comes from. And that was one of the things that I was keen to do was to give it some kind of identity. Um, the, uh, the theme music is uh, by one of my friends, a chap called Lawrence Callahan, who um, started a band in about 2008 called The Tin Cans. They originally were based in Edinburgh, then they moved down to London for a time, but the band doesn't really exist anymore, though Lawrence is still making music, and um, he very kindly allowed me permission to use one of his tracks. Um, I'll put a link to where you can um, download um, the track in the description below. It's a very, very good track. It's called uh, Here, um, and it's on a, an EP which is called Completing. I met Mr. Franks um, through um, being on the leadership of um, a uh, Christian organisation, um, which is still around. Um, it's just um, he and I have kind of decided that we want to do some other some other things, um, uh, you know, now we still very much know all the people there, we support what they do, um, but we've, we've both decided to do some other stuff. He's very much concentrating on, um, on writing books. He, write, he, writes, he writes books, um, he makes films and things like that. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I wanted to, to do more um, on, on my side of, um, of what, uh, you know, you, you see me do, you know, review cars and find cars to people. And that's where the idea behind doing um, Tree Jacket Reviews and this whole um, channel came from, was to, um, you know, see if we can review some interesting cars and actually promote the service that I offer to clients. The issue that I've had with it is that I've never had um, a single direct referral through the YouTube channel um, that hasn't really kind of particularly helped directly. It helps indirectly when um, I... Um, you know, say to sort of uh, uh, potential clients, you know, you shouldn't buy one of these cars because of this, like the Polo 207. Not a car I recommend. I have a whole video on one of those. Um, where I was going to say, you know, if someone wants to buy a Seat Leon, it's like, oh, I've got a Seat Leon video. That's a brilliant car. Um, you watch the review. That's all totally all you need to know. From that point of view, it really helps. But um, as I've mentioned in the past, um, 
The reviews cost something like £250 to make uh, per episode. Um, Matt Richardson, Furious Driving, came along and threw me a bit later um, because he lives in a little bit closer to me than Mr. Franks. And so um, we're able to um, actually get content filmed a little bit quicker for just one or two episodes to do with Mr. Franks because it's... Um, uh, uh, something we need to do is to get him down from Edinburgh to film them generally, although I will be going up to Edinburgh next month to do another episode with him. Um, that tends to be a little little pricey, um, unless you're actually going to make a few episodes at once, which is what we do. We film blocks of three. So, um, yes, you know, that's where the Tweed Jacket reviews started. And then um, I was encouraged by my lady wife to make um, other type of content, um, which is, uh, you know, a like, well, like this, it's just, it is, um, a lot less, um, time consuming and, uh, less expensive to make. Once I've started doing things like, um, talking about cars using television series, talking about general motoring topics, like, you know, do you need automatic lights and wipers, which I think is probably my least viewed video of all, um, which had like 20 views or something, which is fine. It just it just is amusing to me. Um, then um, I went to the London Classic Car Show last February and uh, I didn't really initially want to film it. I thought it would film, the video would be terrible and no one would want to watch it. And it actually turned into my first ever viral video um, because I got it up on the Friday of the show after my lady wife and I got back from being there. Um, that video went viral and, ha and had was the first video I'd had, apart from Tree Jacket Reviews, to have um, the view count in the um, the hundreds rather than the tens, um, which um, which is interesting. And um, yes, it was a, a, f a funny sort of process knowing that all these people suddenly started subscribing. I think I had far less than 100 subscribers at the time. I had 50 or something. Um, but uh, yes, that was uh, how... The slightly shambolic shuffle started, and then of course the the next one I did was the Hubnut Social back in March, which um, was even more successful because I got my video up just before Ian Seabrook did um, of, of his own one. Of course, that had you know had a lot more views than mine, but um, you know a lot of people were looking for it, and for whatever reason, it happened to to bump me up the rankings slightly, and um, that's how that got started. I also, uh, back in January, um, went to do a walk around of the Facebook MG3, and that has been a very successful video. It did nothing for months. And then suddenly when I started putting um, newer MG content on more regularly, um, that has had increased. I had my first collaboration in April with James Martin for JM on Cars, which was again this car, the MG3, um, which um, he doesn't particularly like the car, but it's not really the sort of thing, so I wouldn't expect him to. Um, but that was the first collaboration I did, and then I got loads of other collaborations coming in. Um, uh, the Planet Auto, I've done a lot with them, which is brilliant. Um, Furious Driving, as I've said. Um, Laurie's Mechanical Marvels. Um, and then... I met uh, Mr. Coleman, Rubbish Mechanic, at the Hub Dutch Social, um, where he was um, exhibiting a really early Nissan Primera, which again is a, a, a video that uh, not many people have watched, but it's there. It's a P10 Primera from 1990. So he invited me to come and Lord Mr. Franks to come along and film um, some of his other cars as well, um, which is the Ford Granada and the Volvo 960. And then I started getting into sort of more classic cars and things like that, whilst at the same time wanting to expand into new MG stuff. Now, Planet Auto um, have been going a lot longer than me, and they've had a number of press cars, and they encouraged me to contact the press department at MG and see if I could get um, a couple of them, which I have have done, and um, that was it. They've been invited me to go to the MG ZSEV press launch, which was in July, and I was a guest of their channel. Um, and that's how that got started, and that's still my most popular video. At the time, I, I actually was um, staying the night with... My friend Richard Jackson, who is in my MGZ SCV uh, full review for True Jacket Reviews, and he was looking at actually buying one of them, which is why the, the walk around so comprehensive actually was because I wanted to show him um, what it was like, and um, he'd asked me. And um, on the strength of actually seeing the Planet Auto live footage and the walk around, he then um, he then went away straight away and uh, um, was. Um, very keen to get his uh, deposit down 
which actually no, he, did, he didn't all he didn't all on straight the video. He he wanted to know if his deposit was safe by um um you know watching it because he done he put the, the uh, deposit down when he saw the car at the London Motor Show, which was back in June. And so it was confirming what it, what spec the cars had because he'd only ever seen a static one. He'd never seen one moving or one registered for UK roads at the time. So that just confirmed that the specification was right, the range was right, and that he wasn't going to withdraw his order, which of course he didn't. And then he um, eventually took delivery of the car in September. And um, he then allowed us to film it in October. And um, that, I think, at this moment in time is the current episode in True Jacket Reviews. The videos that have gone out, um, there have been well over 200 of them. I think we're on 230 or something now. Um, some of them have been have been great. have been a lot of fun. The Santa Pod stuff was brilliant. Um, some of them haven't been so much fun. Some of them are, don't do very well. Some of them do do well unexpectedly, which is uh, you know always interesting to see. And I'm very thankful to all of you who subscribed. What's coming up now is that we've got four episodes of Two Jacket Reviews to film next month. Uh, Mr. Franks is uh, filming um, a couple more... Um, sorry, he's not filming. He's editing um, a couple that we uh, we did last week at the moment, and those should be up tomorrow and on Saturday, which I'm sure that all of you will enjoy. Um, then uh, we've got... Um, uh, was it to Boats and Engines again this weekend? Chris, he's very... Very kindly allowed me to come down again, which is rather kind. Um, so we'll go and see him again. And uh, yes, more Tree Jacket reviews next month. Then after that, I don't know how many we'll be making a month because, as I said, they are an expensive thing to do. Um, we've had to put our, um, you know, buying new car plans on hold because of the, the amount of money they cost to make. And so we're going to have to probably slow that down considerably. Um, in the new year. Um, I do still want to make more. I want to learn a little bit how more how to edit better. Um, my editing is atrocious. Um, I can only literally put videos on a timeline. I can't do anything else other than that. Um, so um, we'll have to sort that out. But um, yes, so if the, the rate slows down, that is purely, um, it's purely for financial reasons, really. Um, if I were to get more clients per month with my job, um, then it wouldn't really matter, but I haven't had too many recently, so um, that will have to slow down until we, unless we have some kind of financial miracle, some financial breakthrough come through. Um, so don't be surprised if if, um, if the sort of content you see is, is just stuff which doesn't take so long or, or cost so much to make. Um, that's nothing to do with any of you or any of your encouragement or feedback that's literally because we need to be sensible about um what kind of investment we're making into into this because uh, as i've said it hasn't really served a purpose that it's supposed to serve um it's provided you know a lot of advice um and a lot of um, entertainment for a lot of people but it doesn't make me a penny um at the moment so um that is just um something I don't mind in a way but it does mean we have to reassess the way we do things and uh, just be sensible if that makes sense so I hope you found that video to be uh, informative um, sorry it was went rather a lot longer than I thought it would do um, and uh, yes that um, you're excited about what's coming up on the channel over the next uh, six weeks or so because there's a lot uh, there's a lot more which you'll see um and thank you for all those who are subscribed so far don't forget to like this video to subscribe if you haven't already done so and to visit my facebook page or website at websites www.lloydvehicleconsulting.co.uk and the facebook page is facebook.com forward slash void vehicle consulting thank you ever so much indeed for watching